portable solar panel, and power bank review. Both products are provided by Anchor. Each device has three USB Type A outputs. The power bank supports dual micro USB inputs, which is really special. Unboxing and power meter tests can be found later in this video. I have used at least four portable solar panels. This latest one from Anchor has the best design and quality. There are two built-in kickstands to help you position the uh, panel perpendicular to the sunlight in order to maximize the charging efficiency. It was around 10 a.m. in the morning. Leaving the device in direct sunlight is never a good idea. Let's see the indicator. Yes, it is charging. Great. And there's a pouch. We can keep it in there. This pouch works great for storing the small electronics. But I'm afraid it may get too hot. I don't know about this. So uh, I would recommend still not using it when you're charging the device keep it uh, you know just keep it in the shade i think this we may work the best uh, away from the you know direct sunlight uh, just to verify i will plug in a power meter well this panel is rated at 24 watts free port so plugged in a power meter and thanks to the spaced out ports um, i'm still be able to plug in two of them regardless of the size and let's take a look the it's really hard to see sorry okay looks like we're getting less than five watts per port i don't have an additional uh, meter to measure the output from that port so it looks like it's doing only the half uh, output from a standard wall charging outlet. Assume this one is around 10 watts uh, under this morning sun condition. It's not ideal, but yeah, it is doable. <laughs> it's never going to be ideal. You're, you probably will never get the 24 watts output. 24 watts is probably tested in lab environment. Oh, by the way, the power indicator shows blue when it's charging and um, I would highly recommend getting a big battery bank like this instead of directly charging your iPhone or iPad because it may get overcast and the charging may stop. Using the battery bank as a buffer is way better than directly connecting your um, devices to the panel. And you can use your power storage later in the evening, which is a much more reliable source than the panel. Anchor Power Core 26800, a massive power bank. This thing's huge. Dual micro USB. Well, this design is super unique. According to the user manual, 2 amp input, so uh, 20 watts input, uh, 5 volts, 4 amps, less tested. Uh, it's a one of a kind, I've never seen anything like this. Dual input. Okay, <laughs> I got a power meter, one supports QC3. And the other um, ports are just 2.4 uh, amps. Very close. This one is um, almost 2 amp. So that, that input rating is correct. It came at one bar, three outputs. Okay, this charger is a bit inconsistent. Okay, using this port is much better. Actually, it is slightly higher than the rated charging speed.
Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time.